So let's get uh, Best Buy uh, is in the midst of an effort to turn itself around. Brad Anderson's former CEO and Best Buy um, founder. Well, you founder Como. No, but, I but started you, sales. You the, yeah, but like, you were the guy. I was there for 36 years. Yeah, and you're a board member, also a member of the Job Creators Alliance. I, I, when you were on, I don't know what, maybe it was a year ago, and I told you that story. Yeah. That I had bought something on a Friday, and then the price went down on a Saturday, yeah. and they said you can get it, and it was a TV, and I actually bought something from Best Buy. So I went back on the next week, and I said, you know, you lowered the price on Saturday, and they go, no, no, we can't do that. We can't lower it for you, and I go, but you'll take it back? And they said, yeah, we'll take it back. And I go, so you'll take it back, and then I can buy it on Amazon for, for the lower price? And I go, yeah, and I go, that, that makes... And I told you that story, and you were, you were like, beside yourself, I don't think you were a big fan of the last CEO, necessarily. Uh, unfortunately, no. I don't need to get, you don't need to go on record with that, yeah. but I remember that happening. The stock went to 11. Do you know where it is now, this year? It was at 11 earlier this year. It's almost 28. Real turnaround story. And I think a lot of people, the demise was greatly exaggerated of brick and mortar and of the whole idea that it's just a place to shop for Amazon products. How, what happened in the last year, that there, or in the last eight months, or six months, that to, to, to get it back on track? Well, it was a long, actually, that story is one of the raw stories, the one you shared with me the last time I was on the show, was one of the raw stories. And, 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 I, and it wasn't alone. I got a lot of those kinds of stories in terms of, and I think it's what happens when a retailer tries to, tries to, it gets some of the struggle we just heard at the top of the hour with all of the stories of the consumer electronics industry. When you're under pressure, there's a proclivity to try to go back to the places where you can produce profit and do it from the center. And it leads to things that are just insane, like the experience that you had. It makes absolutely no economic sense in any way, shape, or form to do what happened. Right. And yet that's actually the structure of the company had them, had them doing that. And so you lose focus on your customer, and you wind up getting the company very quickly can start to get into trouble. And I think what's happened in the last, I've got to be careful because I'm a board member now, so I can't, uh, I can't really. But what, what we, we got, I, got, I got involved last year in trying, with Dick Schultz, the founder, to try to acquire the company through private equity. Oh, that's right. Because what we saw transpiring was... Was, was so devastating to the long-term future of the company. What they did is last fall, the company hired Hubert Jolie. Uh, Hubert, I was on the Carlson Company board. I know Hubert is an excellent leader. And Hubert has started to move the company in a direction. So as we were doing the private equity right. thing, uh, we start to see the company move. Are you way. surprised they've been as successful as... Well, it's still early, far. right? So, I'm, and the company isn't making any claims in terms of... Uh, they, they've got a lot of things to get the... To get the Get, to get it, the, the position of the, the company wants to get. But uh, I'm not surprised to see uh, great leadership from Hubert, and I'm very encouraged by where we're going to go. It sounds easier. I mean, it sounds easy, but I can't, I'm trying to imagine how you actually do something like that. If the company's set up in that way, it's probably pretty difficult to go in and, and break down barriers and change just the entire way of operating and the way people think. Yes, it is. And if you look, there are, uh, because the, the industry is so dynamic, there are a lot. There are also stories like uh, you know we're, we're hearing trouble with Sony and those kinds of. Uh, there are, the, the great thing about the industry is it's always moving. So that's the we might still be able to industry. win you back to the brand. I mean, in spite of the I kind of. I still go there. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm ready. I, I don't have anything. But I, I'm not an Amazon person, so I was a natural for you. I, I don't know where to put the credit card on a computer. I put it in that thing, and it got all chewed up. Where the uh, how do you do? It? I don't even know how to do it. Well, it's a, it's because of that. It is an industry that is at you know from my lens as I look at this industry, it is one of the most exciting industries in the world. It is always moving. The customer experience is not optimized for virtually anybody yet. You know what else? People say that you, if you could be cradle to grave. Show me how to do everything, and, and, and that got off the. What, it, wouldn't you like that? The, the service at Best Buy, but the geek. Oh, yeah. Does the, the geek, geek squad, squad does not it work? That's not. Yeah. They still got to integrate the geek squad. I uh, yes yes. Uh, uh, he can't talk about. I can't that. talk about. I can't, <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't talk about. No, the geek squad is fantastic. But if you could get it need. all together, it'll be what you need. I can't I talk need. about the industry, and and great companies in this industry are great companies like Apple has been. And it will be, I think. But it, by, it, by focusing on the customer, focusing specifically on what the customer can't do, and inspiring people to go do what the customer is looking for. And in this case, we did a video five years ago. We just asked man on the street, and did it in several cities around the world. And you get the same thing, the same thing in terms of I want to, I, I want to do this in my life, and I want it to be simple. Help me make it simple. Whoever solves that puzzle, and it could do extraordinarily well. It, absolutely. You could it, that, that can that model can doesn't need to fall by the wayside. Brick and mortar has more touch points with customers than any other form. 
So a Sony still has to go, for most cases, it has to go through a brick and mortar or an online. And, and by the way, Best Buy is not defined to have to be just a Are brick and sold, mortar. See, Andrew, I'm sold. But on, you're in the newspaper business, right? And, and he pretty much thinks oh. that a lot of businesses can, you know, you're experiencing it firsthand what can happen when a business you know, basically I goes to zero. There, and there are but certain not all businesses, businesses that are. Okay, like not just secular. Business, right. I mean, not just. Uh, but secular. can you say brick and, can is the you word say brick and mortar? Do you think it's hard to imagine, you, isn't it? No, no. I think you, you can't say block. No, but what we were talking no about, way. for example, uh, before he came on, was there's certain types of products like a TV in some cases where you actually want to go physically see it, or what I was talking about with him that they have a special audio room called the Magnolia Room, right? Yep. Called yep. Magnolia yep. Room, yep. Yep. where you yep. want to yep. listen and hear what the speakers the whole uh, and you can't home entertainment the, setup you, you can't can do that and even though we always talk about the amazon effect and the library this idea that you go there as a browsing library and then you go down if you actually look at the market share numbers in terms of electronics the big competitor for best buy isn't necessarily walmart, amazon right? it's walmart, it's walmart. well it, it, but the uh, even bigger has been apple Really? And Apple did the most counterintuitive thing you could think for a consumer electronics manufacturer to open retail stores. Right. And, then and really, they did it yeah. because they had a specific point of view about what a customer experience should be. That was the polar opposite of the one you had. Right. And, and, and they engineered that into the experience. And they, they, the Geek Squad can do the same thing. If I can I walk into the store and I don't want to set anything up, if, if I just walk in and I say, give me all of these things, you set it up and make it work for me. In fact, if I want you to, come to my house and make it work. Yep. That's but the you need to write people and you can't say, you know, six weeks. Right. Nope. You know? and, and if you look at the industry in terms of uh, the time it takes between imagining something and inspiring people to do it and the time you can deliver on it, it takes time. Well, the stock seems to be saying that, that uh, something right is happening. and It's discounting that, that some steps can be taken along that direction, right? Look at that. I'm certainly rooting for it. <laughs> yeah. Well, what is it? We've got, uh, and you, got job, you got some... You're a great free market guy, too. I remember yeah. that when we were on. Yeah. And um, we'll talk about what we need to do. It's gotten a little better in the country overall, in spite of a lot of things. I, I the biggest, it would, the, for big business, I think it's actually pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm much more, I got involved because I'm concerned about small business. Was, I, after spending 36 years, I was there, but yeah. it was a tiny little business. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the pressure in the in most creative part of our economy is, comes out of that small business. Wait and till, people are breaking paradigms. Right. Wait till January 1st, though. Obamacare. We're gonna. That, that, oh, that's. Uh, I'm on business. the board of Mayo Clinic, and yeah, I. So well, I know we're gonna. I didn't know you were on that board. All yeah, a lot of boards. Yeah, yeah. I, I just want retirement. Will you be on the Squawk Box board? <laughs> <laughs> don't pay anything. Well, that's uh, that's typically what I do too. So. The muffins don't taste like lunch meat. <laughs> we have some coffee. You guys are fun. <laughs> Thank you for being here. We're gonna continue the conversation.